Neil Slavin. I'm a native New Yorker. I'm one of those rare breed of people that was actually born in this city, Brooklyn to be exact. I'm a photographer um, and a filmmaker. What I specialize in, if you can call it a specialty, um, is groups and gatherings. Uh, a thousand people is not a frightening situation for me. Um, I'm used to it. Uh, in fact, I, I love the challenge, the more the merrier. Wow, when did I start coming to photo care? Ooh. Um, I think I've known Jeff for, it's got to be 30, 40 years. Uh, when Jeff was um, at the first store that PhotoCare had, I, I believe it was on Fifth Avenue. Two things that I, I love about PhotoCare is I know for a fact how much Jeff loves photography. And He's got a huge following in terms of photographers. Um, and that's a testament, testament to his um, love of the medium. Um, and because of that, his idea is to have a company that's really a service company. Anybody can amass all this stuff and rent it out. It's a, it's a place where you can walk out the door with something and an hour later, if you have a problem, you can call and uh, say, I got a problem. And you'll get the service that you, you expect. You don't get that from a lot of places. In, in one word, service. In two words, Lo or a few more than two words, love of the medium. Surprisingly smoothly. <laughs> Surprisingly smoothly. My idea was to have hardware and build a jungle of hardware, lights and stands and whatnot. Um, and have everybody in between the light stands and, you know. Now, when I photograph, people think I do these group portraits and everybody stands there like a wooden Indian. And so sometimes they look at the picture, my pictures, and they say, well, he's not looking at the camera, you know, et cetera. But that's the whole point. I'm really interested in, the, 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 as I said before, the sociology of how people relate to each other. And so, you know, when you look at one of my pictures, very often you'll see somebody like this, you'll see somebody like that looking up, you know, got his hand around another guy, woman, whatever. Um, it's about relationships. Somebody said, a great thing about my work and I loved it. To the man who made it wonderful to be a part of a crowd. And I, I loved it because that's what it is. We're all parts of crowds all the time. And what I'm trying to do is get the essence of that. And I think I got it. I think we got the camaraderie, the, the, the um, relationships, et cetera, et cetera. People aren't always looking at the camera, and that's perfectly okay. Well, the first challenge was the technical one, um, just how to keep the, the, uh, the LED lights at a certain exposure um, and integrate them with the strobes 
and then we had to make an exposure that accommodate, accommodated both of them, both kinds of systems. Um, but the bigger problem is, all, for me, is not the technical end. The bigger challenge is to engage the people so they are Posing is not the right word because I don't, I don't ask my people to ever pose. And I think that's why I get the kind of raw reality of people, you know, in, in the place they're being photographed. Um, but that's the challenge is to get them together, to get them to react to each other, to integrate them. And I think we, we were very successful at that. So turning the question around uh, on itself is go with your gut and passion. Those two. Those two. Very critical. If you don't have passion, get out of the game. And if you're not, if you're afraid to go with your gut and take chances, get out of the game. That's my, that's my advice to anybody. Nobody ever told me that. It took me years to figure that one out. <laughs>